So it's bitter cold today, freezing overnight. Uh, if you've just spent a fortune installing a heat pump, you probably shouldn't watch this video. Um, our electricity supply is locked. Last time we bought electricity was four years ago. So we're heating our house to the old style radiators that were installed in the house originally, 2006. They're currently, they're piping hot and all that's from free renewable heat that's been generated on our roof goes into this thermal store and then is redistributed to the radiators, the existing radiator system. And just to see how that's functioning right now, it is our roof is generating 71 degrees Celsius. Now it's not in storage mode because it's in what's called a driving mode. It means it's dispatching the heat to our radiator system in real time. So this is, bas this is basically our, our, our boiler, which is costing us nothing. The distribution temperature of our radiators is 60 degrees. It'll pretty much sit there all day. Um, and it, our roof array will probably sit around plus delta of 10 degrees above that for most of the day. We do have our electric boiler. It's on standby. Um, the power light is on, but the operation light's off. And that'll come in tonight to bring to keep the central heating system running. And of course, that's also free renewable energy as well. So our whole existing retrofit, we've done very little to it except add energy systems. It's still the exact same windows, walls and doors, the exact same radiator system. We didn't touch any of it. This is the panels doing the heating system, the top row, the 8.8 .8 square meters of aperture. They make both heat and electricity. That's what's running our central heating system right now. Yeah, rooms are nice and toasty, 22 degrees. Uh, really warm, uh, although it was freezing outside. And very, very frosty last night. Still a cold, very cold morning. Uh, some rooms with underfloor electric heating, obviously much hotter than 20, held at very high temperature. So we run our site on a private grid. These are the two grid inverters. These energize the whole site. They're 24 kilowatt rating, so double a standard electricity connection. You can kind of hear them running away in the background. This is our main distribution board for the whole site. This covers all our buildings. We ha all our sub distribution boards come back to here. The house comes back to here and the annex itself, which is this building, all comes back to this point. You can see some of the the DC cabling there from the batteries and they're going up to the um, grid generating inverters. We still have our legacy wiring in place, the, the existing electricity connection, still hardwired, somebody wants to use it in the future. We've added in recently a new generation source, a green gas to electric generation, which is nearly installed, not fully yet. And this allows, this will allow us to get rid of our electricity connection we're paying about 300 euros a year f just to have it there even though we don't use it and of course you always want to have some sort of backup and um, our green gas generation option will allow us to just get rid of that bill um, and still have a, an on-site fully functional backup because we have such a high capacity grid we obviously can fast charge we've got two chargers one is a high speed charger means we can do a lot of EV charging very very quickly our system is all underpinned by a lithium ion battery system. We have five double stacks of lithium ion. You can actually see the four green lights tell you it's actually full. Um, we hold about a week's amount of electricity on demand, so we could actually survive for a week without any generation at all, any input into the building at all. But even still, we'd still have our green gas generation. So pretty much we'll we have an endless amounts of free electricity uh, on site. So right now we're producing 17.9 kilowatts of output. We're coming up on a day yield so far, just under 40 kilowatt hours. So that's coming up on four days worth of electricity. So right now that power is going to charging EVs. It's going to just to top up anything we used off our battery system um, overnight. Um, our electric boiler obviously isn't on, it's in standby because our renewable heating system 
um, our thermal renewable heating system is doing all of the central heating right now in our in our old existing central heating radiators um, this is not a new house this is a 2006 concrete bunker um, typical bungalows of, of Ireland um, savings by the end of the day in terms of petrol and diesel avoided and electricity not bought heat not bought etc we're probably going to save about 80 euros today um, in the scheme of things so this is our latest addition this is our green gas electricity generation backup this um, is connected to our 12 kilowatt gas generator this generator is the same size as a typical electricity connection from the grid so it means that even though we don't buy electricity we still have the electricity connection to the grid as a kind of a backup just in case option we're now going to switch this to a completely off-grid uh, green gas option um, we wanted all of our inbound energy sources having nothing to do with centralized systems primarily because of things like that's going on right now with, with Russia and Ukraine etc out, out of control pricing and the possibility of supply interruptions and rationing and things like that they won't impact us at all we'll be driving we'll be heating and we'll be using power every day like it's an ordinary day if you want to put this in a new build you get a free boiler and a free tank you have just have to pay a, um, an annual rent of about 100 euros and you'd be on 100 percent renewable fuel and in an off-grid format so when prices change as long as you have supply it doesn't matter this system is designed as an emergency backup for in our case it's not designed to actually participate that often it's automatically turned on by our management system on our private grid we don't need we, we wouldn't even know if it's actually being used um but the whole system um is is all uh, demand managed uh, automatically so that's what it's like living off the grid no worries about energy bills no worries about disputes geopolitics or anything else so it's now just coming up one o'clock and we've already consumed because we don't export or anything 71 kilowatt hours of energy on ev charging and everything else we're doing and our generation now is 21.1 kilowatt of generation currently and that's a mixture of lots of different things we're doing